welcome to Telikla biology period. I am Singh K. Anthony, teaching in Aminia School since 1998. The topic for our discussion today is inheritance. In general, inheritance is a wider term. It refers to whatever the parents transfer to their children. It can be the wealth, the properties, it can be even the position. We say the prince inherited the kingdom from the king. What does inheritance mean in biology? That is what we are going to see today. And by the end of this lesson, you should be able to define the following terms. Inheritance, chromosome, gene and allele. Why do children look like their parents? How are traits passed from parents to the children? What is a chromosome? What is a gene? How are the genes and chromosomes related? You are going to see the answers for them. In biology, inheritance is defined as the transfer or transmission of genetic information from generation to generation. So inheritance should be defined as transfer or transmission of genetic information from generation to generation. This is how the IGCSE syllabus is defining inheritance. As IGCSE students, you are supposed to give definitions which are given in the syllabus. So inheritance is defined as the transfer or transmission of genetic information from generation to generation. And the study of inheritance is called as genetics. And we have seen that it is a transfer of genetic information. And from where the genetic information comes, genes from one generation are transmitted to the next by the gametes. And at fertilization, the gametes fuse to form a zygote, which contains the genetic information from both the parents. A new individual grows from the zygote. Half of its genetic information comes from the male parent and the other half from the female parent. We are going to see the answers for these questions. What are chromosomes? Where do we find them? And how are they important? In lower classes, you have studied the structure of the cell. And at the center of the cell, the nucleus is found and inside the nucleus there are a lot of thread like structures we call them as chromosomes and chromosomes are very clear only at the time of cell division and especially one of the stage known as the metaphase stage of cell division and before that stage the chromosomal material divides or duplicates. As a result of that, the chromatids which are formed, they are held together at a point known as the centromere. This is the centromere. And these are the chromatids. 
and uh, since they are from the same chromosome, they use the term sister chromatids. If they are from two different chromosomes, when they are paired, then they call it as non-sister chromatids. So now you know where the chromosomes are found. They are found within the nucleus of the cell. And at the time of cell division, they are very clear. They are clear because they condense and become shorter and fatter to form definite structures known as chromosomes. And the chromosomes or the chromatids of the chromosomes are held at a point known as a centromere. And chromosomes are found in pairs. And chromosomes in a pair are said to be homologous chromosomes. They are called as homologous chromosomes. So chromosomes are found in pairs and chromosomes in a pair are similar and they are said to be homologous chromosomes. And homologous chromosomes will have the same length, they will have the uh, same position for the centromere, they will have the same staining property and also the loci, loci is the plural of locus of the genes will be the same. So that is why they are said to be the homologous chromosomes. And each species has a definite chromosome number. I hope you know human chromosome number. The human chromosome number is 46 or we say 23 pairs of chromosomes. So our chromosome number is 46 or 23 pairs of chromosomes and chromosome number is very important. Any change in the chromosome number can bring about deformities. You are very sure about uh, Down syndrome, you have heard. Down syndrome, where an extra chromosome is added to the 21st pair and the children are suffering. There's another type of syndrome known as cat cry syndrome. Cat cry syndrome, where the mewing of the child is similar to the, I mean, the crying of the child is similar to the mewing of the cat. So that is why it is known as cat cry syndrome. So just remember that uh, the chromosome number is very important. Then uh, if you consider the somatic cells and the gametes, Somatic cells means the body cells. The somatic cells will have a deployed number of chromosomes. And the gametes will have haploid number of chromosomes. All these terms you have studied in lower classes. Deployed number of chromosomes means having two sets of chromosomes. And haploid number of chromosomes means having one set of chromosomes. And gametes should be haploid then only the species will continue as a result of uh, uh, fertilization and the production of uh, offspring. So just remember that uh, these are some of the important things that you are supposed to keep in mind with regard to chromosomes. So we have seen that there are thread-like structures and they are found within the nucleus and other details we have seen. So this is uh, the slides showing the gametes and the zygote formation, the fertilization process. You could see that uh, the egg from the mother, the sperm from the father, these are the gametes having a haploid number of uh, chromosomes. And as a result of uh, the fusion, the resultant zygote will contain 46. So as a result of uh, the fertilization process, the deployed number of the species is restored. And the zygote, it undergoes further division by mitosis and the growth takes place. So we have seen the details of chromosome and how can we define chromosomes. 
define chromosome as a thread-like structure of DNA carrying genetic information in the form of genes. Chromosomes chemically they are made up of uh, DNA and proteins which are known as histones. There is a set of uh, core proteins known as histones, eight in number and the strand of uh, DNA molecule will be wounding around it. So just remember that uh, a chromosome is a thread-like structure of DNA carrying genetic information in the form of genes. And I hope you know the expansion of uh, DNA. We have studied in uh, lower classes deoxyribonucleic acid which is uh, the genetic material in uh, all the living organisms except few viruses. While studying the characteristic features of virus, you have studied that viruses will have either DNA or RNA. Some of the viruses are DNA virus, like the smallpox, chickenpox, all those viruses are uh, DNA virus, whereas others are RNA virus, including this COVID-19 uh, causing virus, coronavirus is RNA virus. So just remember that uh, DNA is the genetic material in all the living organisms except a few viruses. In those viruses where only RNA is there, then RNA forms the genetic material. So chromosome is defined as a thread-like structure of DNA carrying genetic information in the form of genes. So chromosomes are the carriers of inheritance. They are being transferred from the uh, parents to the children. They carry information that make you who you are and what you look like. There are different traits or phenotype in you. Phenotype is a term that you will study in uh, further classes. So there are different types of traits it can be curly hair or straight hair in you. The chin may be cleft or not clefted. Or uh, the ear lobe can be attached or uh, free ear lobe. Or if you are crossing your fingers, I want all of you, those who are watching the, uh, the telecast, to cross your fingers. If you are crossing your fingers, some of you may be keeping your right thumb over the left Others may be keeping your left thumb over the right. So there are different types of traits in us. And always remember that uh, these traits are being trans transferred from one generation to another along the chromosomes. And here uh, it shows uh, chromosomes are found in the nucleus. And uh, the diagram that we have already seen uh, the chromatids which are being uh, joined at the region known as the centromere and the coiling of the DNA molecule and the structure of the DNA uh, details are not necessary according to your syllabus but you are supposed to know the nitrogen bases in them which we will learn as we proceed with the lesson uh, in this uh, telecast. The characters are controlled by genes which are like coded instructions. So the characters, each one of the character that we have, they are being controlled by genes and it is being uh, given as coded instructions. And always remember that genes play an important role in determining the various physical traits that we have. So we have see, uh, when you define gene, always define as a length of DNA that codes for a protein. The most important uh, process that is taking place in any living system is protein synthesis. And every trait that we have, it is associated with a protein. And always remember that a length of DNA 
is considered as a gene as it is uh, shown here. This length of DNA is considered as a gene and it's considered as a specific gene because it is coding for a particular protein and the information in that uh, 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 the coded instruction in that gene will be what type of amino acids in what number in what order has to be gathered to make a protein molecule as you as you know or you may have studied that there are 20 naturally occurring proteins and these proteins are found in the cytoplasm and based on the coded information specific amino acid molecules are gathered in a specific number and in a specific order in order to make a protein molecule and if there is a change in the order that particular amino acid will not be gathered and that protein will not be synthesized or a defective protein will be synthesized. So all those uh, uh, details of protein synthesis will be studying as we proceed. So uh, as per your syllabus, gene is defined as a length of DNA or a segment of DNA that codes for a protein. Now coming to a new term, define allele. I think uh, it is very new to you. You may have heard about chromosomes or genes, may not be about uh, alleles. An allele is defined as a version or we can define it as the alternative form of a gene. And I have uh, shown you the diagram of the chromosome and these alleles are versions of uh, the gene or alternative form of a gene found at the same position, same loci or locus of homologous chromosomes. If these two are homologous chromosomes, you could see that uh, here uh, always uh, in genetics they represent alleles by alphabets and there are two alternative forms for a gene mostly a dominant one and a recessive one those terms also we'll study as we proceed with genetics so just remember that there are alternative forms for a gene and these alternative forms are found at the same position in homologous chromosomes okay so just remember that it is a version or alternative form of a gene so by this uh, lesson you have learned the definitions, the definition of uh, inheritance, the definition of uh, chromosome, the definition of uh, gene and the definition of allele. So there we come to the end of this uh, lesson and uh, we will be uh, continuing with the same topic in another edition. and. Uh, Thank you for watching and see that uh, you are keep watching this uh, program. Thank you very much.